Hundreds of Afghan refugees are heading to the inland northwest. They're fleeing Afghanistan in search of safety and stability. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Bloom. Lutheran Community Services is one organization helping them get settled. Some of our new neighbors will be kids coming here all on their own. Esther Bauer shows us how local families are stepping up to help them feel at home. The McGuire family has been hard at work prepping this bedroom for a new family member they just can't wait to meet. We're just, you know, taking that leap. The McGuire's are taking a leap of faith, getting ready to add more pictures to this wall and make new memories when these shelves fill up. There's too many sad news stories. <laughs> <laughs> and so to be able to do something is just, why wouldn't you, is how I feel. Jean Wynn feels for the families in Afghanistan because she knows refugee resettlement isn't easy. Her parents fled Vietnam back in 1980. I came one month inside my mommy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> so they want to welcome kids inside their kitchen and give them a safe, stable place to call home. With the Afghan youth, there are multiple kids in that situation. Shelly Hahn with Lutheran Community Services is working to place kids with families like the McGuire's. She says since the U.S. left Afghanistan, Stand, there's a greater need for foster families. There's a broad network of support right now. There always is, um, but but there, it's more concentrated around this population right now, knowing the crisis that occurred um, and that we're going to be seeing lots of kids. If you can't make this much of a commitment to foster a child, Shelly says you can still help kids by donating money or checking out their Amazon wish list for specific items they need. Oh. And we put this birdhouse outside in our backyard. Liliana is hoping to fill these photo books with new memories and learn something in the process. Maybe learning a new language. The McGuire's are ready to do what they can to help in an overseas crisis right here at home. Having a child of our own, you can't help but put yourself in the shoes of these families. And the McGuire's are just waiting for their final home inspection. Once that's complete, they'll be able to welcome a new family member into their home. Reporting in Spokane tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.